Shopify Dawn theme customization guide. My name is Elias and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to customize the Shopify Dawn theme. Now the Shopify Dawn theme definitely is my personal favorite theme, my personal favorite free theme and basically it is just a super powerful option to build up all sorts of different stores. So to get started you will just have to head to your Shopify dashboard and then actually find your Dawn theme right here and then click on customize. This is going to open up the Shopify theme editor, which to be completely honest can look, I guess, a little bit intimidating when getting started, but I can promise you guys, if you are going to watch this through, everything is going to be super simple. So to get started, right here on the left, you are going to see a general overview of your website. This is going to include different kind of sections, and inside these sections, we do then have different kind of blocks. Now, when, when you're actually going to select any of these sections, now, once you've actually selected any of these sections or block, you can actually find all of the settings right here on the right. This also goes for simply just clicking on the elements that you want to edit. And then right here on top, you're going to have kind of a navigation bar, which is going to allow you to actually head over to other pages, which you can then customize. So if you, for example, do want to customize your product page, you can do so by simply just using this right here. And you can then go ahead and right here, customize everything to your likings. And one other thing which is important uh, would be that you can actually change the overview of your website by using these icons right here. This is so important because nowadays most people are actually going to shop on their mobile device and therefore it is super important that your store is actually customized and optimized for mobile as well. So let's actually get started uh, customizing this from top to bottom. So let's actually get started with the announcement bar. So to edit this, I'm just going to click on it and then I'm going to select the welcome to our store block right here on the left. Now the announcement bar is a great way to put out all sorts of different incentivizers, all sorts of different offers on why people should actually buy from you. Like for example, I don't know, let's just say that we are going to put in 20% um, of all orders above i don't know 200 pounds okay a 200 dollars sorry and then we can actually also make this clickable by adding a link onto this so in this case i would then obviously just select my all products tab right here and now if we're going to save this and if we're going to click on this you can then see that this is going to redirect us to all of the products that i currently have listed for this test store Okay, we can then actually also further customize this by simply just selecting this. We can then right here actually change the color scheme. So if we maybe want to make this this kind of, I guess, dark bluish, or we, if we would want to make this light blue, we can do so by basically changing this right here. Now, let's actually now continue with the header. Now, as you can see by default, the logo isn't actually going to be, I guess, yours, your own logo. So to change that, we will actually have to head over to the overall Shopify theme settings right here on the left and these kind of work as the general settings for all across your website so if you're going to update these things right here these are then going to op basically be automatically updated across all of the elements so let's get started with the logo right here just upload your logo and then i basically just upload it and then just select it. So in my case, I'm just going to select this black logo right here. We can then change the overall desktop logo width. So basically just how big this should be. In my case, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, something like this. And we can then also add the favicon. Now, the favicon basically is just going to be this little kind of icon that is going to show up on top all of your all of your tabs essentially. So I would highly recommend you to add this because this is just going to, I guess, just be a little bit more... A little, be a little bit more professional and then we can also go ahead and change things like colors or typography now usually shopify does a pretty good job with setting the default color schemes right here however if you do want to add a custom color scheme you can do so and actually you can use tools like coolos.co i will leave you a link for this down below i guess i'm not affiliated with them or anything but basically you can use this to generate all sorts of different color palettes for completely free which you can then use for your store but I'm actually going to just opt out of this. Now you can actually also change the font of your whole website. So as you can see, you are going to have tons of different options with this and you can even upload your own custom fonts onto your Shopify store. Um, however, as for this video, I'm not actually going to bother setting this up right now.
By the way, you can right now get completely free access to my comprehensive Shopify beginner course by using the link down below. This will also grant you access to a community with hundreds of like-minded people so that you can grow together. So make sure to check that out if you want to. So for now, just head back to the sections tab right knee here and we are then going to continue customizing our header. Now to get started, we will have to set the desktop logo position. Generally, I do prefer actually to leave it at either top center or middle center right here, but you can obviously also, basically you will have to customize this to your likings. All of them look pretty good in my opinion, but in my, ca in my case, I'm just going to leave this at middle center right here. And then we can go ahead and customize the menu. So the menu would just be these things right here. We can just click on this icon right here, which is going to open up the overall menu settings. And right here, we can then add new menu items onto this. So in this case, I'm just going to, I don't know, add the all products tab. We can then for obviously would then have to select the correct page and then just going to click on add. And if we're now going to save this, this is then going to be updated on your store. As you can see here, this, if I'm going to click on it, it is going to redirect me to the all products tab. Perfect. So let's now actually continue with the header. You can change the desktop menu type. Like for example, drawer would be this right here. Um, generally, I actually leave it at either drop down or mega menu. And you can actually also change the sticky header, um, I guess, type. So basically with stick header, this just means that your header is going to show up when someone is in the bottom of your page and if then and if this person is then going to slightly scroll up as you can see right now the header is still going to be visible however if you're going to for example select none right here this is obviously not going to show up which I think quite as a bummer, I usually tend to just leave this at on scroll up or at always. You can then actually also further customize this by adding the color and so on. But for now, I'm not actually going to bother doing this. So right here, we then do have our image banner section. You can actually delete sections by simply just clicking on remove right here or by clicking on the bin icon right here. And you can then add new sections by simply just clicking on this plus. So in this case, I would then probably, I guess, just go, I'm, the, I'm just going to, I basically select this, select this image banner right here. So I'm going to add this and I'm then going to put in something like shop or newest products. Okay, then we can change the heading size. We can also make this bold, which I guess I'm going to do. Then we can change the description right here and we can also go ahead and change up the buttons now in this case i'm actually going to only show one button so i'm just going to delete the text of the second one and then i'm going to change this button to shop all products then i'm going to obviously link this i think by now you'll get the hang of this uh, and then i'm going to actually add my own uh, image onto this so in my case i'm just going to add this image uh, but in this case i'm actually going to uh, further customize this and I'm going to change the desktop content position to middle left, which in this case I think will actually look better. You can then actually also change the color scheme of this. Maybe something like this could actually work slightly better so that, it, yeah, maybe something like this. You can then actually also change the button style right here by simply just clicking on it. So for example, you can use the outline style and so on. You can then continue customizing your store by adding all sorts of different sections. Like for example, a college works great to kind of show off different kind of products and collections. A collapsible content thing works great as a FAQ, for example, or a multi-column section. Let me, let me actually quickly add this. Uh, would kind of work great as reviews, I guess, which you can then use to um, show different kind of use cases of your product and so on. But let's now actually continue to the footer right here. Now the footer setup is pretty self-explanatory. Once again, you can add new sections onto this, like for example, uh, email sign up, which actually does make sense, I guess, but I'm just going to leave this at, they already have an email sign up right here. Then you can actually also add blocks onto this. This could, for example, be a menu item. This could be your brand information as well as just a plain text or your image. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and check out my free resources down below to supercharge your Shopify journey.